Hello everyone, this is Professor B from San Diego. I am a professional math tutor and I love to help people out with math. Today what we're going to be talking about is a subject called factoring. Okay. Excuse that A, it's a little different. but Okay, so <clears throat> let's say you have something like this. X squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, this is a trinomial because it has three different parts to it. As you can see, you have the x squared, you have the 5x, and you have the 6, and it's uh, what's called a quadratic uh, function because it has a squared term in it. All right, but let's get to factoring this right now. So here we go. First thing you do is you're going to make these big parentheses over here. Okay. And now these first two terms right here are going to multiply to get x squared. Can you think of any two things that multiply to get x squared? Well, let's help see about this. x times x. Okay. x times x is x squared. That's great. And then now comes what I call the game. And it goes like this. La da da. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. So, basically, the way this game works is whatever is sitting here uh, multiplied by what is here is going to go in this box right here. Okay, and whatever goes here is going to multiply by what's sitting here, and that's going to go in this box down here. Okay, and when you add what's in this box with what's uh, in this bottom box, then you're going to get um, 5x. Okay, now here's how you figure out what's going to go in this location and this location. Can you please uh, think about what I'm getting ready to write down? So here it goes. Pick two numbers that multiply to equal six and add to equal five. Okay, so two numbers that multiply to equal six, but add to equal five. Here we go. First contestant. Let's see. Oh, how about this? How about this? Six times one equals six, doesn't it? Six times one is most definitely six, but what is 6 plus 1? Oh, 6 plus 1 is 7. These two numbers have to multiply to equal 6, but when you add them, they have to equal 5. Anyone else? Let's see here. Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, how about 3 and 2? Positive 3 times positive 2 is positive 6, right? Okay, but do they add to equal 5? Do they add to equal 5? Let's see. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Yes. Boom. That's it. Positive 3. Positive 2. Boom. That's it. 3 times x is 3x. And then x times 2 is 2x. When you add 3x and 2x, you most definitely get a positive 5x which is this middle guy right here and that's it that's the end of the game and your answer is x plus 3 and x plus 2 and that is it my friends most definitely this is professor B signing out from San Diego if you live in the San Diego area and you need a private tutor I am available 
most likely you saw this ad on Craigslist, just give me a call and I break down everything, even calculus problems, as simple as this. Thank you and have a great day.